If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Filters in Photoshop let you apply different effects to either selected raster layers or smart object layers in a Photoshop document, which apply the effects either destructively or non-destructively, respectively. To apply filters in Photoshop, either use the Filter command in the menu bar or use the Filter gallery. To apply filters in Photoshop using the menu bar, select the layer in the Layers panel of the Photoshop document containing the content to which to apply a filter. Then click the Filter command in the menu bar. Then either click the name of the filter to apply in the drop-down menu that appears, or roll over a category name in the drop-down menu to show its filters in a side menu, and then click the name of a filter to apply in the side menu. Doing either action then automatically applies the selected filter, or opens a dialog box where you can change the selected filter's settings before applying it. Note that if you try to apply a filter to a selected vector layer in the Layers panel, Photoshop opens a dialog box that offers to either convert the selected vector layer into a smart object layer or rasterize the vector layer first. To convert the layer into a smart object layer, click the Convert to Smart Object button in the dialog box prompt. Alternatively, to rasterize the layer, click the Rasterize button in the dialog box prompt. Alternatively, to cancel applying the filter, click the Cancel button. Alternatively, to apply filters in Photoshop by using the Filter Gallery window, select the layer in the Layers panel of the Photoshop document containing the content to which to apply filters. Then open the Filter Gallery window by selecting Filter, Filter Gallery from the menu bar. To adjust the preview of the selected layer that appears at the left side of the Filter Gallery window, use the controls below the leftmost preview pane. The Filter Gallery in Photoshop lets you apply some of the available Photoshop filters either independently or in layered combinations. To apply a filter, click a Filter Effect category name, shown as folders in the middle pane, to show the individual filter effects in that category. Then click the filter to apply in the category to both apply it and view its settings in the right pane. You can see the name of the applied filter layer appear in the list at the bottom of the right pane. Then use the sliders, color boxes, and drop downs that appear in the right pane to change the filter's settings, which vary based on the selected filter. These changes appear as you make them in the preview in the leftmost pane. In the bottom of the right pane, the name of the currently applied filter appears in a filter layer. If desired, to add another filter layer to this list to layer the filter effects, click the New Effect Layer button at the bottom of the right pane. Doing this then adds another filter layer you can click to select in the list. Then click to select and apply another filter effect in the middle pane to apply to the selected filter layer. Like regular layers, you can click and drag the filter layers in the filter gallery above or below other filter effect layers to change the overall effect produced. To delete an effect layer in the filter gallery in Photoshop, click it to select it. Then click the Delete Effect Layer button at the bottom of the right pane. To apply the filters when finished, click the OK button at the top of the right pane. Alternatively, to close the filter gallery window and not apply any changes, click the Cancel button. 
Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.